This is a little mock-up demonstration of the use of the toggle type uh, hive straps. I tend to like these because there are no moving parts, not like the ratchet type that, um, that um, are, are very often available. And these do get the strap very, very tight. In fact, on a, a, a normal British standard uh, national hive, I find that just one of these straps is adequate. The reason we're doing a video is because a lot of beekeepers have problems using them. And to the best of my knowledge, there's no other videos uh, available. What I'm going to do is show you, firstly, how I do it normal speed. And then I'm going to slow it right down so that we can do it bit by bit so that the, um, the, the beekeeper can follow. And they're actually quite an old idea because there were some Biber Hive straps very nearly 50 years ago that were available. Um, no longer uh, no longer available. These are very reasonably priced, I think, two or three pound or whatever it is for uh, each. And um, I find they're, they're, they're very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it at my normal speed with two options. One is on the hive stand and the other one is moving the hive into the roof. And I will show you now. If you're going to move the hive any distance, uh, then really what you need to do is to block off the entrance first. Now, this is a mock hive, so we're clearly not going to do it. Um, but you've probably got uh, entrance blocks, uh, grass, uh, sponge, all sorts of things like that that you would normally block off with. Do that first. Make sure that if you possibly can that the bees are stopping flying. If you're moving the hive any distance, that is, you're going to put it in a vehicle, uh, there's no point moving the roof because you've got extra space, you've got extra weight. So take that off first. There's two ways I do it, and I'm going to show you both of them. One is you've got the hive on the stand. One is to do it on the stand. So just put the hive strap down, lift it up underneath the other side. So There it is done. Now you can lift that hive off and uh, do what uh, if, if you wish with it. So that's one way. And this is another way. Take the roof off. Put the, lay the strap across it. Put the, hive, put the hive on the roof. There it is done. Take the strap, go through that slot first, and then through that slot there like that. So you can see what happens when I tighten it up. This here and that there are in tension. Now, I can feel straight away that that's actually quite loose. So just release it off slightly. Tighten it up a little bit. Do the same again. That I'm already feeling that that is quite tight. So you get to that point. The loose piece put through the slot the piece in tension can now also go through the slot and there it is 
tight so you can tidy up the strap so that you're not treading on it you can now lift that wherever you want to go and i can tell you that you'll get these probably tighter than you will with a with, with, with a ratchet type one so the toggle i find needs to be about a quarter of the, or a third of the way in because you're going to move that over so you end up with this end about midway that seems to work for me so take the other end of the strap put it through that slot like that and then the loose end of the strap through the bottom slot like that that's the toggle action that is too slack so tighten it up still too slack give it a bit more then the loose end put through the slot first move the plate over until it's laying on the on the tensioned strap put that through the slot and there it is now take the loose end fold it up hide it under there so you don't tread on it and there it is you can take that away and that shouldn't move uh, around i suggest if you've got no supers one strap is is adequate there's no problem with that if you have got two supers and you've got uh, some one or two supers and you've got some distance to go then i will put a uh, two one there and one there or you can put one one way and one the other if you like the real problem is going to be uh, twisting and I think there's less chance of twisting if you've got one at the front and one at the back so I hope that helps you to uh, to be able to use the toggle type fastener a, a lot easier and give you confidence to actually go and buy some and uh, and actually use them because I find that, um, that they're as good as anything as far as um, strapping hives up is concerned. Thank <laughs> you.